riding my new bike home. Welcome to the first episode of CBR 600RR. So as a bit of a background story, about two weeks ago I was sat on my balcony drinking beers, as you do, and I got myself into a bid war on Yahoo Auctions, which is Japan's answer to eBay. I've been winning this bike for about a week for the price of 200,000 yen and figured I'd got it in the bag and I'd already started planning what I was going to do, what parts I was going to fit. And then the last 10 minutes the bid started flooding in and my finger got itchy so I started pressing bid, 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 bid. Anyhow, I won the bike and the very next day I took the train up to Nishijo Station in Nagano Prefecture, literally in the middle of nowhere. As you can tell from this video, this is not some Tokyo station with Shinkansen bullet trains. This is the JR line. Very small and very slow trains. The journey was going to take three and a half hours, but I had a movie downloaded onto my phone, I had a lunchbox, and I was happy to just sit back and take in the views from the window. I've lived in this country for 11 years now, and the countryside just never ceases to amaze how beautiful it is. Just check out the river and how green the hills are. It's an awesome place. So, three and a half hours later, I arrived in Nishijo. It's the smallest station I've come across in this country. They didn't even have a, a ticket machine. There was just a lovely old lady who took my tickets and let me walk through the, <laughs> the sliding door. No automatic doors in this station. So as I headed to the door, the seller had agreed to meet me, so I stepped outside to try and find him. Within 10 seconds, he was here. What about that for timing? The guy picked me up and took me to his family-run Suzuki dealership, which was literally five minutes down the road. And that's when I got a first glimpse of the bike. Started to think I might have bought myself 11. There was lots of scratches and things that weren't listed in the description on the Yahoo auctions. But at 286,000 yen it was still the cheapest one in Japan. So it was time to gear up, get on the highway and ride the old girl home. Well boys and girls, have I bought myself a lemon? That is the question. So I'm just leaving Matsumoto now to go home. I didn't realize how far it was until I saw the sign. 192, not miles, kilometers. Not too bad, but not great either. But first impressions of the bike. To look at it, obviously I saw photos and I knew it wasn't a minter. I knew it was going to need a lot of uh, fixing up. Um, one thing I didn't know is both engine covers have got scratches on them. Now the photos only showed a close-up of the clutch cover having scratches on it. So I thought, eh, no big deal, clutch cover. I'm going to change oil anyway, so I just whip the, whip the cover off, replace it, all good. But uh, the other side is also scratched, so that means more money to uh, fix it up. Now the fairing, obviously I knew the fairing was screwed, so th that's like the first thing I was checking anyway, was like um, uh, all the kind of cool fairings that you can get, like ready painted ones, like movie star, race colours or whatever. Um, but yeah, it's not just the cosmetics. The tyres are really old. They've got like cracks in them and to touch them like you, you know like if you put your ne your fingernail into a tough, into a tyre you can feel you know how soft it is. These are supposed to be you know sports tyres but they're rock hard. Then there's the chain and sprocket. I haven't seen the sprocket yet but the chain itself is rusty and disgusting. Doesn't look like it's ever had any chain loop sprayed on it. So one of my first missions will be that I guess get some um, 
decent chain cleaner try and give that a, a good clean see if it'll come out like come out shiny and new if not I'm gonna have to replace that and one thing I've found out is that uh, the Japanese spec ones have got a different rear sprocket so it's, <laughs> it's actually slow as fuck <laughs> I'm really surprised at how slow it is now I know it's only a 600 but you know I thought it would be way quicker than my MT-07 I thought but it doesn't seem to be it seems pretty slow to be honest so there's a few things that I'm gonna have to uh, spend time and money on that I wasn't expecting to like the tires from the photos I could see that they were uh, you know worn but I figured I could still probably get four or five thousand K kilometers out of them but no that they're, they're just not good I, I, they probably could be driven on ridden on but I don't want to have a sports bike with screwed tires so that's more money yeah and the bodywork obviously I don't care about that the bodywork is all is scratched to hell and faded missing bolts everywhere so I knew that that's that was to be expected thinking of getting a, a bolt set you know like a, a shiny anodized bolt set and a, a new painted fairing set so that's no big deal it's just all the little things that are gonna add up like the cover the engine covers and do I need to change the chain or can I use the chain stuff like that so anyway I want to stop and eat my lunch is this uh, yeah I only just got on the highway but I need some lunch it's now like 3 p.m. I haven't eaten anything yet today the actual bike feels okay though it doesn't feel like um, doesn't feel like there's anything mechanically wrong with it suspension is re reasonably soft which I was surprised about I thought being a sports bike it would be kind of stiff from the get-go but it's kind of soft is there no bike part here serious so anyway Let's have some lunch and then see how we get on with this old bike. So if you guys want to have a quick look, like here, fairings like not even got a bolt. This is all scratched. This is the one that I knew about. But the other side. The other side's also scratched and the fairing's also scratched here like so obviously it's been dropped on both sides which I didn't know about but other than that I guess it's just cleaning time isn't it scratches everywhere at least it's got an aftermarket exhaust but yeah it's gonna be a bit of a project anyway so I've got a boring three-hour motorway journey now so I'll see you guys next time goodbye